Okay, now that you know the requirements for becoming a private investigator, how do you get a job in the industry? And what type of company should you work for? Welcome to breaking into the private investigation industry. My name is Johnston Blakely. I'm a private investigator here in South Florida. In Florida, a person needs to take a 24-hour course and find a sponsor prior to becoming an intern investigator. A sponsor is an experienced PI or agency who is willing to hire you and train you during the required two-year internships. Other states have different requirements to become an investigator, but how can you get your, your start can be confusing for some. Often the area that you live in can make it easier or more difficult to find your first job. Some agencies prefer to hire experienced investigators in order to reduce training costs. Getting a job in the investigative industry does not need to be difficult. It may take a few months of effort, but this career is worth it. If I were to go back to 1995 when I first started my career, I wouldn't think twice about doing it again. In fact, I wish that I had started earlier in life. The reason I say that it may take a few months for you to get a job in this industry is not just because that's how long it takes uh, to keep sending out resumes and getting a response, but you will need a few months to train yourself and make yourself marketable in order to get the investigative job that you want. You should not get into a career unless you have thoroughly researched all what the job entails. Prospective employers want to know that you are not just applying to his or her agency on a whim, but have invested time and effort into readying yourself for your new career. In Florida, the CC Intern Investigator course is required by the state. Have you joined any investigator organizations? Have you read books about investigative techniques? Have you gone to conferences, classes? In other words, have you become an investigator already or will the prospective agency spend time and money training you then you quit after a month realizing that this career is not for you. You need to be an investigator to get a job as an investigator. Before I applied for my first job in this industry I found out who the clients of prospective PI agencies were I realized that I had a connection with a paralegal of a law firm that contracted out a lot of investigative work. In fact, the paralegal herself was responsible for distributing a lot of the investigative work to PI, PI agencies in the area. She gave me the name of some of the agencies that she used and told me to use her as a reference. I was hired on this spot uh, by a local PI agency. Models build a portfolio. Private investigators need to build a portfolio of cases. Some agencies do not make interview appointments with experienced private investigators unless he or she first submits a sample of their work. And most, aid, most investigators are too lazy to do this, which, uh, which is perfect. Those looking to get into uh, the industry can also start building a portfolio of work from their training. Take a course on video surveillance. Go out and shoot a two-minute video of a family member, 30 seconds of uh, an outdoor setting shooting from your car, 30 seconds of inside a grocery store, 30 seconds inside a mall, 30 seconds inside of a dark bar. Take a course on accident scene photos. Take photos of a mock accident scene and include it in your video presentation or separate paper presentation. Take a course on how to take photos of accident vehicles. Take some photos of your friend's old beater and put them into a presentation. Take a course on how to take recorded statements. Interview your neighbor about a mock accident, maybe videotape the interview and include it in your video presentation. Make sure that you have an experienced PI look over your portfolio before you submit it to any prospective employer. Investigative training graduates can have their portfolios proofed by me personally. Even though you may not, uh, you may have no real field experience, you will need uh, you will be showing your willingness to learn, to take initiative, and to be resourceful. Do not just send out resumes and hope that someone will contact you. Contact the person who is in charge of hiring and make an appointment to drop off your portfolio and resume. Tell them up front that you do not want to take up any of his or her time 
but that you just want to introduce yourself and leave them your resume. Once at the agency, if you get uh, an opportunity to show your portfolio, even better. For those agencies that think that they are not hiring because uh, they haven't seen your work <laughs> yet, you could mail uh, your information or better uh, even better, put a video presentation into a streaming format on, say, VMO, Google Video, or any other service that will allow you to block the video from public viewing. And email the agency with the link. Email both the general email and, if possible, the email of the person in charge of hiring. Take your portfolio to private investigative conferences and investigative association meetings. Arrive early and stay late. Ask for advice on how to procure a career in the industry. Most PIs will want to help you even if they are not currently aware of what agencies may be hiring. Choosing an agency to work for. Remember, you need to make sure that the prospective agency is right for you. Are they going to hire you and teach you how to become a private investigator or do they uh, attract an applicant with the title private investigator but are looking just for someone to fill a single purpose mundane job in the company. You will need to work uh, you need to work for an agency where you will develop into a well-rounded investigator. Often private investigators get hired to do video surveillance. Even if all you do is surveillance this specialty will teach you the art of locating an individual, verifying the identity of individuals, videography, report writing, the operation of electronic tools for surveillance, and testifying to your work in depositions and trials. Working for a small mom and pop agency versus working for a large agency. Uh, small agencies will often need you for a variety of tasks. On, on one day you may be doing surveillance, the next day you may be retrieving courthouse records, and the next taking photos of an accident scene. A negative to uh, working for a small operation is that the agency may not keep you in full-time work every week. Often the agency will go through slow periods and busy periods. Working for a large agency will often uh, offer you the benefit of keeping you very busy for most of the year with few slowdowns. An investigator working for a large agency uh, may be hired for a single purpose of surveillance and little else. This is not a bad thing if you enjoy uh, conducting surveillance as I do. Even if surveillance is not your end goal, it will provide you with a lot of skills and can run the clock on your internship period. Once hired, always be available for work and training. The first six months is a sacrifice. Eat, breathe, and sleep private investigations. Remember, this is a career and not a job. Learn from your employer or other investigators in the agency, but don't uh, but over time develop relationships with private investigators outside of the agency. Learn from a variety of sources in the investigative community and become known. Uh, your reputation starts on day one of your training and will be with you throughout your career. Agencies pay well for top producing, no headache investigators. Uh, this is uh, a very independent career. Even if you, if you work for someone else, uh, sometimes um, you will go through periods of time without seeing anybody in your company. Do not abuse the independence. Remember, your job is to take stress and strain away from your boss and not to tax him or her with too many case-related problems or personal problems. Be resourceful. During my f um, first few months of employment as a surveillance technician, I, I, did, um, I overdid my pre-surveillances. I set up my cases for success well in advance of actually doing the field work. I often went by the subject's address several times, making sure that everything was good to go prior to the actual surveillance day. I, I am sure um, that my first boss to this day 
uh, does not know the efforts that I put into to his cases and preparing them for success. He probably thought I, w I was just lucky. Welcome to your new career.